So wake me up when it's over, over. Alright, get this chat open before I forget. I am live a little bit early, since there's always going to be some kind of technical difficulties when I start, so hopefully this will be able to counteract those technical difficulties. Wait, already having problems opening my fucking... What is, what is up with... <laughs> with Twitch on my iPad. Like, there's always something wrong when I try to open the chat via my iPad. It won't let me swipe. It won't let me scroll. It won't let me touch anything. Um, I was hoping... Oh, that's there it is. Okay. So I was thinking I would go live... Oh, wait a second. I still have a delay. I keep forgetting to turn off the delay. Whatever. Anyways, I was hoping I would go live a little bit early and then... Uh, I would go watch the Saab versus Insomnia match for a little bit. But I don't think that they're actually playing right now. Oh, wait. They're playing at 5, I think. <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. It always does. Every time. Every time. I, I end up early... I'm like, I'm going to plan it this time. I'm ready for it. And then, boom. Oh, I could pub for a minute, at least. Let me see, because I know they were scrimming. I see over in a scrim. It looks like they're not exactly done yet. I mean, I guess the question is, with the daylight savings time situation, am I an hour early? Because sometimes I get confused by the way things work on daylight savings time and when you do it with like central europe time and everything i think i'm in, i'm in the right place at the right time we'll see i will fuck around for now and wait for that scrim to end i don't want to go into the scrim server potentially give anything up ahead of time on anybody i know it's highly unlikely but you never know you never know so getting ready for the ktp gold semi-finals we got uh, Thunder 2 and Lennon, and then Anzio if needed. Over versus NSA. Where are these guys? I just I just ran all the way through mountain and no one's here. Unbelievable. I can't even get my warm up on. Can smoke grenades. God damn it! Oh, I see. Is that is that Nick in here? No, it's got to be just a regular guy named Patton. That can't be the online wizard. Uh, it, I think it's just, uh, like I have the settings for brightness and gamma turned up to the max in here. That should be. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not an hour early, thank God. Because I definitely did not want to be sitting here pubbing for an hour. I just got confused because I saw, I thought that Saab and Insomnia were going to be playing right now, but they're not. So they must have just rescheduled it and it didn't get updated on the thing. Johnny V just dumped on me. Not cool, Johnny. But yeah, I think the brightness and gamma is just uh, the settings in my game. I don't think it shows, like, my desktop settings while I'm streaming. I will double check, though. Where am I being shot from? Midhouse, I guess? Okay. Oh, looks like they're done with that scrim. Not sure what server they're going to play in. If it's a Thunder server, that'd be awesome, because I could uh, automatically record the HLTV that way. Later. Oh, he hit me. Very unfortunate for that guy. Take that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah, I fucked up. Oh, yeah. No. So, in CS with high gamma, it would kind of mess with things a little bit more. Um... 
And and it also because of flashbangs in CS, you wouldn't want to have your gamma too high. But in DOD, yeah, it makes it pretty bright like this. I have some digital vibrance on as well, but I don't know if that comes through on the stream. I'm guessing not. Ooh. Um. Oh, oh, it was a scrim? Okay. I was going to say, I'm about to double check if they're already in a server. I see KTP New York 1. Okay, they're going to KTP New York 1, it looks like. It's all right, I got my warm-up in the best I can do. KTP New York 1. All right, this is going to be a good one. I think Thunder is going to be a fun one to see how these two teams go about it. Um... Jesus, my stupid court. You know, NSA is really, really good at, at rotating around the map and taking advantage of Bunker. Like, they, they are not afraid to send a couple extra people on into the Bunker, try to take uh, take the heavies out, and then flood out that way through mid-alley in the Bunker exit. And we just saw in the quarterfinals with Over, when they were playing against Clinic and they were down on Thunder... Uh, they put out a pretty good game plan to take the map back and not give it up, um, which also involved flooding through mid. So you could very well see a situation in this game where, like, NSA has three people in bunker and Over has abandoned bunker, which, I mean, NSA won't take long to recognize if that happens or anything. There's Mitch. Good luck tonight. Take it easy on us, please. God, uh, I, I very rarely in my DoD career have had to be prepared to just get wrecked in a best of three series, but it's all I've been thinking about all day today. Ugh. I'm definitely taking a nap before then, though. That much I can guarantee. Okay, maybe they're not playing in here. They're at least running around a little bit, but... No, no, they do. They have nine on, in here. Okay, we're good. We're good. I don't need to fuck around. No need to fuck around. So I'm guessing that uh, for over the lineup will be like Saka, Kum Kum, 50, Mata, Till, and Caffrey. Uh, and then of course for NSA it'll be the the god squad of Debo, Leo, PDX, Milo, Taylor, and Slick Nick Patton. The legend of the online wizard himself. <laughs> Which is the most nonsensical name ever, but we couldn't come up with a better one, and that's what Bootin wanted to call it. Yes, I did. Six consecutive hours. Oh my god. Well, why were you uh, driving so much, Mitch? That does sound terrible. I'm not in that level of... Uh, of disarray right now. I did drive six hours, but I was not awake for 24 hours. I got way more sleep than that. <clears throat> yeah, the uh, the 1.3 DoD scene, I mean, I don't know what CS 1.6 looks like. CS GO for sure is way more alive than we are. Obviously, CS GO is insane with all the money and everything in it, but uh, for, for this game, it's weird because the game has died like four or five times now, and somehow it always comes back to have a little bit of a league in it. Like, I think that the last time that we had uh, a league like this before 2022 was in 2015, and I was under the impression it was dead for good. I would think so, right? Like, I, I feel like 1.6... The fact that we have any sort of competition still going on makes me think 1.6 has to have something. Oh, it doesn't exist at all anymore? Okay, wow. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yep. Oh, yeah. TF2 is another one that refuses to go away for good. It's interesting. I mean, it's, it's the games at their core are so simple and satisfying, and even though, like, graphically you compare them to the modern stuff, it, it can never live up to that, it's that simplicity uh, that really, I think, makes people fall in love with the game. It's hard, like, you go from a game like this in CS 1.6 to the newer games, and it's just not intuitive at all. Oh, man. That sucks, dude. 
you should take a nap before the game, before I should at that rate. <laughs> right, Corey? Pretty much true, yeah. Pretty much true. The, the competitive community in DoD basically, like, ref will continuously pull it back from the brink. Corey's had to do it before. Everybody gets a turn to try to keep DoD alive for a little longer. Okay, interesting. I, I would have guessed that, like, 1.6 would be similar, but I guess with 1.6 and Source, they ended up with a new version of the game that was good and popular enough that it was able to finally take over, whereas for DoD, we got a DoD Source, but, like, it, the community was very split on DoD Source, so it, if there was no DoD Source at all, or if there was a DoD Source that we all loved, I think we would be a bigger community left now. Like, if you could combine those two communities into one. Yeah, most of the DoD community is Cory at this point. We're finding new Corys every day, it turns out. I can't believe Insom is a Cory too. How did I never know that? I would have thought that would come up at some point, but somehow there are new Corys for me to discover still yet. Okay, get this bad boy. Ooh, yeah, that's sexy. Putting them particle effects on, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is old, old school. Oh, no, you still have yard work to do, too? God damn it. There's never a good time to nap, is there? Especially not with a family like that. It's just, there's never, never a good time. Short of, like, you know... No, even then, really. Like, I was gonna say, if you're, like, working from home, but... You know, most people, if you're working from home and you have a chance to sneak away to go do something else, it's very rarely to nap. Yeah, WoW really did take a good chunk of the DoD community, too. I forgot about the, how crazy it was, because that was around, like, 2006, 2000, end of 2005, early 2006. That was, like, the first death of DoD. And then it came back pretty well... Uh, leading into WSVG, and then it we got SIVO, but SIVO fell apart, and so then it died again. We had no Cal anymore after a couple years, and then SIVO came back again, and then Cal came back again. Like It, it was just, it, it's so weird. Yeah, see, if you don't even work from home, then you definitely don't have any, any opportunities to take a nap. I am lucky in that regard. I can nap whenever the fuck I want right now. And I will after this game. Or at least I'll try to. Oh no. <laughs> Ron. Do you, uh, do you remember, Corey, how it went with, uh, with Wicked Pete? How he just, like, because the community was just all over him all the time during SIVO, he was just, like, disappeared. Fuck this, I'm out. You don't see that happen too often with a head admin, where they're just like, nah, I'm done. I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, well, we do have a couple people that stream, that's what this is right now, it's the semifinals in, like, our upper division. Um, this is the first semifinal for that, which right now I will be commentating. And then we've got a couple other people as well, Alapex. Uh, does basically almost all the other matches. Yeah, yeah, I remember Wicked Pete was just furious. I, I think one of the last, what was it that happened? There was one, like, big thing that happened where somebody was super pissed off about something in Sevo Amateur and just was, like, up his ass about it for, for multiple weeks in a row, and that was, like, kind of the last time that I remember him being around. Good old Sivo. And then, of course, there's been multiple times that, like, we've had other almost lands after the CPL era. Like the old Chicago land. Oh, yeah, we've got callouts. All over the place. Or do you mean, like, calling out, like, uh, do you mean calling out, like, 
the spots in the game, or do you mean call outs like you know trying to challenge somebody to a game? Because we have a big community Discord, all uh, where basically everybody is to to do things like twelve man, which is basically like the old ESEA pugs, only without an automated system, you know, and then scrim finding in there too. Yep. I remember, Corey. It was a, it, that was a whole thing uh, for for my team too. Oh yeah, for spots in the game. Yeah, there's callouts for everything. It's actually kind of crazy. Like you know, you look at even just this route here. You got piano room, slab, axis loft or white castle, and like lower loft and upper loft. Ah, oh, the stupid HLTV glitched. Um, let me see if I can get to somebody that was close there. Barrel room, lower barrel, U-Haul, second flag. I don't know what people call this thing, to be honest. I call it, like, the, the tripod, because it looks like two legs and a wiener. Double windows, although now it's just one window. Uh, ninja room. Uh, this is, like, back alley, tree kind of thing. Although, if you call it that, you might be confused. This is box alley, new house, tree... Mid house, upper mid house, lower mid house, tank or mid, crack house, upper crack house. This is Susie, because that's what it says on the building. Lower Susie, of course. Upper church, lower church, uh, graveyard or cemetery, whatever you may call it. Uh, I, I don't know what you'd call this area, like pews, because there's church pews over there. Uh, rubble. Yellow house, but I, I don't know. Is this really yellow anymore, I guess? Um, so this is bird cage here, technically. It used to be a cage. However, it is not really a cage anymore. I'm not really sure what people are calling this now. Bunker exit, maybe. Um, and then spawn house is all this over here. Upper spawn house. Allied second flag. Church Hill is this hill that leads back into the graveyard and the church. Most of it is pretty intuitive stuff. Like, if you know a couple of the calls, you can just kind of say what's nearby. I don't know what you'd call this now. I guess maybe, like, broken building, because there's a bunch of broken stuff on it. A lot of times, context is the, is the key, too. Hey, Anna! There we go. I love when I when I see a new name and can actually identify it, too, because there's been a few times that people have shown up in the stream that I knew, but I didn't know exactly who it was based on the name. Here to cheer the team on, though, I see. Love it. Let's go. Yeah, you know, that's true. You might have been talking to Corey Price. See, this is what happens. Too many Corys. Or is it not enough, Corey? That's the real question. I need to start recording now before I forget, actually. HLTV Gold Semis Over versus NSA Map 1. First half. Uh, I'm going to put the map in there to identify it as well. So, lineup-wise, it is as expected so far. Wait, Anna's in there. Is she in the stream, too? Yeah, this is first half. It hasn't started yet. <laughs> we only got like 10 Corys with new ones appearing on the daily. So, I'm not sure. It looks like it should go live any second now. Yeah, oh yeah, it's definitely like a second from going live. There it is. Wait, what? Oh, it looked like it was live for a second there. There are a lot of Ryans too. You got me there. Yeah, we really, I can't think of any other Darrens in the DoD community. I mean, I'd have to, if I could go really think back to like the pre 2007, eight years, maybe there's been a couple other ones. Darren, Darren. I keep wanting to say Darren Cavalier because that was a kid I grew up with, but that's not a DoD player. Man, I do like how these detail textures look too. Mm mm mm. All right, should be going live any minute here. You got Anna in there. She was also just in the stream, but she is playing. You got Mod on the sniper, Till and Caffrey on the heavy, Sokka and Kum Kum on the rifles. Anna on the third, but she's using a Tommy. And on the NSA side, 
the best player in the league this season, statistically especially PDX, with Leo on the other car, you got Debo on the Stas, you got Milo and Taylor, a long-running heavy duo together on the heavies, and Nick Patton, Slick Nick, on the sniper. See, uh, you know, and th that spelling of Darren isn't even the spelling that uh, the other Darren I knew was, so... Now you have met a Darren, technically. In this stream. That's what, that's what we got going on in the DoD community. We're introducing people to newly named people on a daily basis. William! Good luck later on, sir. Like I said to Mitch, please take it easy on my bum. I suspect it will be a light work day for you guys. And I'm not kidding. <laughs> I wish I was so very much. All right, now we're going live. Let's go. I want to see who's getting good spot. Wait, it's, there is a little bit of a switch now here. It looks like Caffrey and Anna on the heavies, actually. Till is on a rifle. There was a last second switch there on classes, which is interesting. Okay. Anna might be AFK. Maybe there was a lag out here or something. Uh, I, I said it was going to be uh, two to nothing, I think. I said I think that uh, Over could take Thunder, though. That's their best shot to, to extend this and try to push it through. I think that this is this is a map that with a good strat executed well. Oh, PDX almost hit that flick. Till is there to try to break it. They're capping on the back side, though. Debo able to get two on the mid cap. And NSA gets first mid control. Right, we do have Toxinator and Dorito. With Brian and Jared, it, it can never be easy against us. The rest of us are the, the problem. And Jules, of course, too. Let's see what Nick Patton's going to get going on. He gets up into Axis Loft here. Debo does go down to Sokka. Pistol spam coming in from the golden gun that Nick wields on that pistol. Almost hits the flick. They do get out past Trip Box, so a chance to maybe get some nades into back alley and try to reassert control here from Susie. I'm going to turn off particle effects because of that shit. Too much dust. Nice shot for Nick there on Sokka. Finds him. Caffrey did get Milo out of bunker as well. Nick trying to hang on to mid here. Taylor is able to find Till at the back of mid as well. Mata wants the trade. Ooh, just missed that flick on a patent in lower loft. Nick, is he still on the right side? Ooh, there is a guy crack as well. I'm not sure if Mata saw him. One in crack, one in loft. Crossfire on him. Mata is able to find Nick. And there's the peak from Debo on mid. Able to trade it right back. Nade's not going to get him. And now Debo's got mid house control. <laughs> right, William? Dude, I know. Brian's crazy. I don't know how Brian does it. Yeah, Ryan's going to be playing. Unless he bails at the last second. He is supposed to be playing, though. Nice 2K for Leo and a hat trick for Leo right away. Getting up into Susie. That's his his fun spot. To, most fun spot to get to, I'd say, on this map. PDX has crack held right now. Ana was able to get Leo on that push. And Taylor's trying to clear out Bunker here. They know where Anna is because she just killed Leo, so I think she's right, yeah, I was going to say, right in front of him around that corner. There it is. Taylor able to get that kill back. We'll see where Caffrey's at. He's got the bar in hand now. Mata was able to find Debo, and we have a double setup watching that bunker push, so Taylor going to have a tough time making his way out of there. Nick Patton finds Mata at the end of mid, and a nade almost gets Till there. Down to 13 health. Ooh, but he is able to get the prone angle on Nick. PDX there to trade it from Crack, though, and still full mid-control here for NSA. Kumkum coming with a nade for Crack. Does not get the frag. Probably did some damage in the process, though. Leo, one more kill there on Ana. Kumkum is hit for 30. Till is able to find Leo, but then Sokka's nade is a TK on Kumkum. Sokka, though, gets one right back on PDX. And two there on Debo. Looking for the next one now. Over might be able to get on to mid. No, Milo's there. Mid-alley break. It's two for Milo. And he's ready for any more that might come his way. Going to fall back into bunker. And Nick Patton does the rest of the job there. <laughs> oh yeah, you know Ryan will be proning in those apartments. You know it's coming. Classic move. I think Anna was just uh, AFK at the start of that. Because her score, yeah, like her score didn't reset. So unless she like half lagged out. Oh, and Nick with the ammo box up there on top of the loft. Going to just grab it back now. So, Over at least hasn't gotten pushed all the way back to their two just yet, but, you know, yeah, with, with the players on NSA, they're just so good. I think this was uh, NSA's pick. 
Yeah, I think over... I think... Uh, what were the bands? I forget what the bands were. I think it was like Rail Yard and Railroad 2 were the first two bands. And then NSA picked Thunder, Over picked Lennon. Uh, Harrington was banned by Over. And Armory was banned by NSA. Yeah, this is NSA. NSA picked this, Over picked Lennon, and then the last map left over was Anzio. Each team banned one railroad apiece, NSA banned Armory, and Over banned Harrington. Oh, double kill for Milo through the birdcage door, and now NSA is going to start pushing. Till and Ana are able to trade one back apiece there, and Sokka still got lower church control, which can be a lot to deal with. Nice shot there for Sokka to find Leo. That was quite a few in a row there for Over to get. Taylor and Debo chime in with one apiece there, and now Sokka hears one up. Never mind. Kum Kum immediately gets Debo out of Susie, so... Back to pretty well balanced now. Sokka drawing fire there from the crack stairs. Going to drop down to lower and see what he can do. Checking out the V-crack push. Nade doesn't get quite up to him. Flick shot just misses out of the staircase there. Sees the legs popping out. That's such a tough shot to hit. Nice shot, though, on Debo on the follow-up. Patton is able to bring it back. And PDX with a nade kill there. Two down on mid for over. Sokka going to try to find the angle on Nick Patton. He's hit by the car there for only 10 damage. Gotta love DOD, don't you? Still trying to find the angle on Nick, and Nick does go down to Till. PDX trying to hang on to mid now. He hears one jump in ruins. He's got two in a row. Sokka and Till. Looking for the third, and the flick is good. Caffrey down. Hat trick for PDX. Giving the little crouch hop peek from the top of crack. And Taylor was able to find Ana as well. So four unanswered now for NSA. And PDX is taking a push. Nade support is good from Debo. Kum Kum down in rubble. PDX going to get up to lower church. And this is where it gets tough. Oh, the knife kill for Mata. Oh, that's unfortunate for PDX there. He just got caught in close range. Mata switched to that knife in an instant and got the frag. Three dead quickly on overside, though. Right back, make it four. Debo with a two-piece from Susie. Milo chimes in with one more. Kum Kum's last alive, one versus six. He's able to get one on the two. Sees another one, get up in the yellow house. Kum Kum looking for that shot. Did some damage with that on the Garand. PDX up to 12 and five now, as he's done all season, just dominant. Kum Kum spamming the doorway wall. Nades going all over the place. Nick Patton is able to get the first frag from that yellow building. And this is a fun, fun sniper spot if you can get to it. But good nade from Till gets him out quick. And a second one there on Debo. Till and Caffrey, the last two alive now. PDX is pushed up Cemetery. Another kill there for Till as he finds Taylor. PDX is able to trade it right back. But NSA still swarming the second and first flag area. Where's Leo now? Still up in spawn house? He is. He's got eyes straight out to the spawn, and they might, they might ninja cap here. I mean, you know when it's Leo, he's ready for it at all times. If Over's not minding their P's and Q's on this ninja cap. <laughs> oh, they check for it. Good work by Mata to at least have Leo have to give himself up there. Nice flick shot for Leo there on the jumping Sokka. He's ready for the fallback from the spawn house as well. Getting shot at from Church Hill and a nice kill for Till. That all rhymed. Now, right back to lower church control. Never mind. Good job from Cum Cum to keep Debo from getting pushed up any further. PDX waiting for him to peek the upper church now. Looking for kill number 15. And he gets it. Nice flick headshot there for PDX. Taylor with a two-piece there as well. One's a grenade. Sokka does trade one back, as does Mata. Till looking for the spam kill here on Taylor. And he gets the pistol headshot. Oh, but Milo's right there to trade back. Milo, the furthest point of contact now for NSA. Going to try to put some work in to keep over off of mid. Milo gets another one. 15 health on him, but that's more than enough with a one-hit kill car. Drawing fire from everywhere. He's going to prime a nade. Let's see if he can do some damage with this. He throws it off the box. Going to fall back to the spawn house door. Try to get some more cover. And uh, over going to have to get by this now. There it is. Third kill for Milo. They can't get to mid unless they get by Milo here. And if you got a guy in your spawn house, you're in serious trouble. We'll see if the pre-fire comes in here from Ana or Caffrey, whoever this is. No, Milo was able to get one. He almost got out the back door, too. That was nearly disastrous for over. Leo coming through bunker with that car, and they're going to have the two. No, Till. Till coming up clutch once again from the Churchill. What's his kill total now? 13 leading the way for over here. 10 on Sokka next up. Caffrey trying to clear out the cemetery. PDX has three there. One's on a nade. He's looking for more, though. He's going to come out that Churchill. Nades will be coming that way. 
PDX trying to find the angle. Sees the guy. Flicks to him. Not going to land. Oh, and the nade gets him like around the corner there. So, over still have not given up their two at least. At this point, it's damage control. You can't afford to give up a cap on this map. Right, exactly. I'm sure that James was all over the fact that Leo had, had been missing for a couple minutes there. Nice kill for Ana to get uh, Milo out of spawn house. That's heavy team down. NSA is good at shifting people over to cover up those routes, though. So I suspect someone else will be covering it. Patton cuts it off before that point, though. And there's PDX going over to back up the bunker push. Debo finds Kum Kum once again. Traded by Till, who's got a scavenge sniper. Traded right back by Nick Patton. No, oh, Nick with another one. He's looking for a third, too. And he gets it. Hat trick, Nick. A real quick three spot there from Susie. PDX has spawn house control now. Nice shot there. Patton with a fourth as well. PDX with two. Will they chase after him here? Caught between a real tough situation. Here is over. PDX just misses that flick. Nade's coming over top. NSA's got the two now. There's Milo with the pistol kill on Ana. It is traded by Till. PDX on that tight, tight angle there. Just misses. And now Patton does go down to Mata. So four kills in a row for Patton was all he was going to get there. But that was plenty. PDX up to 21 now. Up in that upper spawn house. Looking for anyone to give themselves up. Calling for nade support here from Leo. Nice shot again. Number 22 on PDX. Almost 23. Caffrey able to get it back. They need that two. Caffrey maybe going to go clear upper spawn house? No. Leo is up there once again. So Caffrey just going to get out bunker over in a full defensive posture. There it is. Leo did have to give himself up for the kill, so no ninja cap this time. Going to get back on him. He knows there's one. Here's spawn house, but the double, actually one was a TK there, Caffrey. Nick is still up in Susie once again. What a flick by Sokka. 180. Patton is able to get him back. Patton pre-firing his pistol towards the tower. Now he's going to try to crouch hop out this window and go for the no-scope, I think. Bakes the jump. Spams the wall. Not landing. Debo's here for support from Lower Seuss. And Patton going to peek the upper spawn house. Mod is there somewhere. Call is in. Till up in church now. Patton looked like that was on him. Might have done some damage. Trying to re-aggress on that angle. The, the pistol is good. Does plenty of damage. And the no-scope. <laughs> Nick Patton, just a, a movie clip factory with a sniper rifle. Still on 100 health here in Susie, just dancing around, avoiding nades. Another kill for Nick. He's up to what now? 19 and 8. Just a god with a sniper rifle here. Pushed up into Susie. PDX with a 2 kill on the other side. He's up to 24 now. Leo chimes in with another one. And Nick sees a teammate go by, says, I won't shoot you, my friend. Now Debo all the way up to right in front of this two. Good nade for Sokka to get him out of there. Sokka on 41 health. Scores now 51-3 for NSA. Sokka goes down to PDX. And now Nick is up to yellow windows again. He's on... Uh, oh, no, a TK there. Does not hit the next shot. Caffrey with the running standing bar to get him out of yellow. That was a crazy shot. PDX is still alive. Pushed up church, though. PDX going for a real long kill streak now. Never mind. Mata ends it, but he's up to 27 and 11, dude. PDX continuing his reign of terror over the gold division right now. TK nade will thin out the numbers there for over a little bit. Debo coming with the nade for the two. Doesn't get anyone yet. Mata is there, and you can see four guys there cross for over. Well, four players, to be exact. Taylor coming with a nade from the spawn house entrance. Nice nade for Caffrey to get him out of there. PDX going to come up next with a nade for Rubble. Ooh, whoever it was got out. It's Caffrey. Patton is able to get him with the pistol. He's up in loft. Of course, Nick does not miss with the pistol. Leo still fragging on that bunker team right now, though. That's another one for him. He's up to 15 and 12. He's traded by Till, who's having a really good half himself. 20 and 16. Third in the server. Nice shot there from Mata on Nick Patton. And now Kum Kum's got lower. Susie control. Debo is a little bit quicker on the trigger there. Till finds PDX. Coming around looking for Debo who's gone up to Susie. Till is here. And he's able to get the pistol kill. Till wants to get up. Push to that tree and maybe help go for mid. Till with another one. Call it three. And now he's got... Oh, he just heard a footstep there. Back alley. He's going to get into the Axis loft. They have an idea of where he is. But they may not be certain that he's in the loft. Now it's a little bit of a game of hide-and-seek for NSA to find where Till's at. They will. That is over. Oh, no, the jump peak is good there, and Debo with the nade is able to get Till out of that push position. Now going to nade back a mid. Over 
should be pushed out beyond there too now. There's Mata at tree. Debo's ready for that. Flick shot for Sokka just misses. And now he's got to get ready for this back alley push. Peek and slab. No one there just yet. One out of two on the mid cap. They're going to push into mid house before they go for it. Oh, and Debo pushed up back alley to get him on the flank there. Nicely done by him. Now Debo's got Susie control, and he knows there's one mid-house. Oh, a nice nade by Till to get him out of Susie right away. Now Milo's got to shift over to mid-alley, and PDX's nade was good, but unfortunately, Milo was where the allies were supposed to be. PDX is down. Patton is down. This should trigger a mid-cap attempt. We'll see if they can get it. Ooh, they do get the kill there at Slab as well. Leo's going to come from somewhere right now. He gets three. Leo's at the two. Leo came out bunker and got three, and now he's got a spawn nade. Over was able to get mid back at least, and now they got to try to defend against the cap out. Till is able to find Nick on mid. Leo with the fourth. Leo looking for five now. 37 health. And a nice shot by Sokka to get him before any more damage can be done. Now NSA got to try to retake mid with five minutes left. PDX looking to draw fire from Midhouse. Knows there's one in there somewhere. Full health on him, though, which is way more than enough for him to go get a couple kills. He's up to 28 right now on the car. Sokka found Debo somewhere there. Not sure where. Oh, PDX just misses that flick. He is still alive, though. He's taken out by a Leo Grenade, though. That's unfortunate for NSA. Quite a few dead. It's all on Nick Patton last alive. It is a quick respawn. He's at tree. First kill is good. Nick looking for more. Draws out the shot. Pistol is good as well. Nick, you don't want to give him too many free openings here. He will capitalize on them. He's being spammed down to six health from Midhouse, though. He may try to go up and take a push into Midhouse, give himself up for the information, maybe get some damage. For now, he's going to hold McDonald's. Till goes down, or Till kills Debo, sorry. Nades are coming from mid. Nick still hanging on for dear life here in McDonald's. Just to, to have gotten a multi-kill in that situation was impressive in and of itself. Caffrey and Kumkum get one apiece back. Sokka's in mid-house doing the mid-hole job right now and doing it well. Oh no, Mata goes down to PDX though. Where's PDX coming from? Over need every tick they can get here. Yeah, this is, this is a new version of Donner, an updated version of it. Nice shot for Sokka there, too, as Caffrey gets another one as well. Caffrey does go down to Milo immediately right back, though. Till now second in the server. Nice shot again for Sokka. And Milo does go down to a TK nade there, so over looking real good now. Oh, PDX is trying to clear out Midhouse. He almost got all three. PDX at a one versus three there. Jesus. Yeah, it's visibility, and there's a bunch of, like, hitbox issues on mid and stuff. Uh, bunker was, they, you know, the, the bunker house itself got removed, as you can see here. So there's no more just, like, hiding in bunker and letting people run by to shoot them in the back. So it kind of made bunker a little bit quicker playing, at least. Nick trying to clear it out. Mata, though, is there in Upper Susie. Just one split second too fast. PDX is able to get till PDX with another one from an off angle. They got to try to kill PDX or he's going to get mid back basically by himself. Taylor able to find Caffrey there. PDX going to try to get out into mid. Taylor down to Ana. Leo and PDX now with a crossfire looking to get these guys out of mid house. Leo firing at lower mid house. PDX looking like he may have some nade support coming. Leo puts one in the first upper window. Not going to land. And now over in a situation where they need to... Oh, what a nice shot there for Kumkum Kum on the elbow peak. PDX is snuck up into lower though. PDX going to try to flank Kumkum Kum now. Waiting for him on that off angle. Footsteps are hurt. The jump peak is good. PDX finds Kumkum Kum out of upper. Going to swap that empty car. Oh, it's another empty car though. But Sokka goes down to a Debo nade. This should be a mid cap for NSA once again. Debo is on at one out of two. And they're... Uh, oh, they got the two. They got the two Taylors out here. Taylor ready for the Churchill re-aggress. Mata, though, too quick on that sniper, and they will get the flag back. So over, not gaining ticks anymore right now. Nice nade there for Till to get Milo out of birdcage. That should be number 29 for him. It is. Oh, that's four dead quick on NSA's side. Respawn came fast, at least for them. Patton back up in Susie now, though, and he's been a demon to over in this spot. Patton going to avoid this nade. That sounds like it's coming from Upper Church. Perfectly uh, timed. Debo with a 2K on the other side, though. Good work for him. And now NSA just trying not to give up mid in these waning minutes here. One and a half left. Uh, yeah, first map, Ryan. 123. Caffrey looking for the mid alley peak there. Just missed that car shot. Does hit the second one, though, on the re-peak for Milo. Debo trades it right back, though. Debo up to 20 and 19 now. Just a, 
Uh, 20 kills across the board on NSA's side. Nobody really lagging behind here. Caffrey going to try to take a peak bunker here. We'll see if he can get anything done with that car. Oh, no. There's a lot of uh, deaths going the other direction, though. Caffrey might have to try to go get this one kill he does. Going to maybe get a second. Trying to find the angle now. Good shot there on Milo, who is pre-firing. Now Caffrey, is he going to try to flank mid, or is he going to go for the flag? Taylor's ready for it. Nicely done to be ready on watching his route, not on the route. Supporting mid and supporting bunker there. Oh, nice shot for Nick there in the upper spawn house, getting his opposing sniper there in Mata. 30 seconds left now. Debo with another one. Up to 22 in lower church there. Debo trying to find anyone giving their head up here, going back to watch Graveyard. No one coming just yet, but they may be around the corner. There it is. There is one there. As you can see what the frags are looking like. 54-point lead here for NSA, so it's a good lead. PDX, oh, they're going to have a, a multiple-person push here through Church Back Alley. Caffrey's fragging on the other side, though. We'll see if Debo and PDX can make this happen. PDX gets one. Debo going to go for the two. Oh, and Ana with the kill on the last flag prevents the cap out at the last possible second. 40 for PDX, 29 for Nick, and 29 for Till, and then around 22-23 for, like, basically the entire rest of the server. Jesus. Okay, I need to get the actual final score to put in there for this. Well, not final score. Final score of the half. 79-22, so 57 points. You know, not insurmountable by any means for over here. NSA 79-22 for over. All right. So, I mean, obviously on this map... It can go either way. A lot of times on Allied side, it comes down to whether you're able to get those initial nade kills. Like, it it can literally just be RNG at that point. Um, you know, because obviously you favor the cars in a matchup against a Garand at range most of the time. But this map, to me, has never really played one-sided at all. Uh, it really just comes down to hitting your shots and your nades in mid. And then whoever gets mid first... You got to try to hang on to it. I mean, NSA just held on to mid for the majority of that half. They did a really good job of never over pushing to the point where they didn't have at least one person there to be able to hold mid. Um, certainly, it was PDX a lot of the time, too, as you would expect. Uh, once he's lost like three teammates, four teammates, he's not about to just go give his life up and lose all the map control that they've gained to that point. But 57 points. Not bad at all. If Over could get a ninja cap for one thing, that would do a lot of the heavy lifting by itself. Um, certainly, they could try to hold mid for as much as NSA did there. That's going to be tougher because obviously NSA are all crazy good players. You have to try to outshoot them for 20 minutes, which is going to be near impossible for most people to do. But we will see. Just got to wait for this HLTV delay to be done. And then I can start recording this demo so I don't fucking forget like I usually do. Uh, PDX with the 40 bomb again. He has been a, a 40 machine this season. I don't remember exactly how many kills per half he ended up with at the end of the regular season, but it was a lot. Looks like it's not live yet at least, so I didn't miss anything. And uh, Nick Patton, you know, like, doesn't matter how many kills Nick has in a half, they're always fucking fantastic. You just watch Nick for a few minutes, and he'll hit, like, three one digs and, like, two mid-to-long-range no-scopes and a couple other flick shots. It's very it's very satisfying. All right, looks like NSA is readying up there. Just waiting to see what Over's going to bring to the table. I, I'm curious to see if Caffrey's going to take the Unter mid. I think it's a good idea. He is very good at, the, at going mid with that Unter and just kind of causing havoc with it. Looks like he is on the Unter. All right, I think that's a good start for Over. Got to throw a different look their way, if at all possible. Till's on the Stoss, so it will be Anna and Caffrey on the Heavies. Not sure exactly who's going to go where. Ha, 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 ha. Now that would be fun. That would be fun. I would be all for that. There's a lot of Ryans and Corys in this community. Nice first kill there for Caffrey to find Taylor, who's pushed up way up onto that bench. Good use of the spawn there for Taylor, but just too quick as Caffrey. Debo with the double kill in mid, able to bring things back in the favor of NSA and PDX with one more. Debo just saw one and crack. He hits him twice. Make it three times for the kill. Oh, and that's team down. 
What a start for NSA. Caffrey gets the first kill for over, but then NSA gets every single one of the next ones. Including three on Debo and three on Milo, who just goes down to a till nade there. PDX goes down to a Kum Kum nade as well. Oh, big nade coming from the allied side. Almost just got him out of there. Leo is pushed up back alley, I believe, with the car. He's got two, and now they got to watch their one. Ana going to come take the peek. Try to at least make some noise here so Leo can't feel comfortable. Nick Patton has hopped out of midhouse to try to watch Barrel. Nice job by Kum Kum there to take the off-angle peek. However, oh, and Leo's dead, actually, so they don't have to worry about that anymore. Nice nade from PDX, though, to get Kum Kum right back. Till is here at tree. Trying to find the next NSA player to give themselves up. They hear one mid-house, and one is mid-alley. His Sokka goes down. Nice trade for Till. Oh, there's a dead nade there. Till aware enough to get away from it, though. Spamming coming from lower mid-house right now. Till got to be careful at tree. Oh, yeah, there it comes. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of Garand fire coming through that wall right now. I don't know if you can hear it, but I sure can. Ha, 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 Darren. Saber, what's up, dude? I was glad to see you in the, uh, the discords yesterday, too. All right, now nah, five health on Kum Kum here. I'm not sure if he got spammed or if he took a nade to the face. As you can see, Debo is still 3-0, and so I'm guessing he's in mid-house right now. Oh, no, he's in crack. Sokka's got two on a bunker, though, and this could be good work by Over to take that, uh, that bunker side and use it to their advantage. They're going to have to be ready for a ninja break here. Caffrey does run into somebody there in mid-house. Ooh, pre-fire. He's got to pull out the pistol now. One is in lower Susie as well for over. They might just try to hop on if they're gonna. Where is Debo, though? Debo's got the ninja break coming, and you know it. There he is. He's in crack. They still only got one out of two on it. We'll see if they go for it. Will they be aware of Debo's score? No, they're not aware of it. Debo is there for the 2K break. Almost a third as Kum Kum is in lower church. And now he's gonna just try to stay alive as Debo up to 5-0 and oh after that mid-break. And he's going to take a push-up slab. Kum Kum does go down. Debo. Oh, a drive-by by Ana. What a running STG headshot there. Sokka is able to find Milo in bunker. Kum Kum up to 7-3 and three now, leading the server. Debo close behind him at 5. I know, right? It's so crazy to me. Every time I play or cast this game, I'm just like, man, I did not see this coming back in 2015. Sokka. Oh, he saw... What thought he thought was ahead, but it was actually like a library book or something up there in Susie. Nick Patton able to find him from lower church. He does hear the Stoss bullet coming from Suze, though. He's trying to find the mid-break. Leo gets the mid-break with three. Oh, what a 3K from Leo there. It looked like it might have been a ninja break as he was already at slab. He's got a nade for the spawn exit. Kum Kum gets him, but the nade gets Kum Kum right back. And here comes the NSA bunker push. PDX and Patton got one apiece on the other side. Debo finds an unsuspecting Sokka there at the bunker exit. And as I talked about in the pregame, NSA, ooh, no. Maybe a little miscommunication there on the NSA side. A PDX nade does a lot of damage to his teammates. But, oh, Caffrey gets two right back on the Unter. And now Caffrey, but Taylor with the double nade right back. Just trading 2Ks right now. Caffrey almost got out all the way tree, but Milo's there in mid-alley watching it. Taylor ready for a new push from the Axis Bunker side. Mata did find Leo. Footsteps are coming this way. Nade's going to do 14. Nice peek by Sokka. Holy shit. Milo is able to trade it right back. So Bunker Control remains in the hands of the Allies. Now Debo trying to find the angle. Mata is there in loft. Finds him. 59 health on him. And there's Milo finding Ana in Bunker again. So still Bunker Control here for NSA. The question is, when do they aggress out of Bunker, and is Over going to be ready for when that time comes? Let's see what Nick's going to do. He's going to try to shoot through a wall, I'm thinking. That's what I'd do. I'd go for a no-scope here, and I would die for it. Nick not going to play like me, though. He's going to go back to Lower Church and try to take a scope shot at somebody. Oh, Caffrey's up in Susie. Till's got one as well. Debo gets the nade kill in return. A dead nade kill, I believe, as Till got him with that Unter. Sokka's able to get Taylor out of Bunker, too. Now Nick having to, def to defend this mid-cap. Sees one in mid-house. Milo's there to get Sokka at least, so one comes back the other way, and not going to be a mid-cap opportunity here. Milo with another one on Kum Kum there. He is taken out by Caffrey from crack. Patton trades that right back, and now mid-house control goes the way of NSA. Those ticks are starting to add up, though. Another kill there for Slick Nick. Almost another one. Pulls out the pistol. Jesus, fuck. I can't believe how many bullets he hit at that range with that thing. He is the man with the golden gun. Cyan007, eat your heart out. 
PDX is able to get Ana out of bunker once again there. And another one on Till. So PDX starting to cook with gas now on the allied side. Nick with one more. Taylor with one as well. And now the last two alive for a couple seconds here as the spawn did come in. So never mind. Nick again with another one. Nick starting to feel it on the allied side now. Leo ready for a potential lower Susie push. Going to just nade it to be sure. Nades. Double nades going tree now. There it is. Debo gets Caffrey from there. Patton is able to find Mata as well. And now NSA going to try to push up beyond slab potentially. Leo going to play uh, safety on mid. Oh, but Sokka found him from where? Tree? Yeah, Tree. Till with the TK nade there after Sokka gets two, but still a good job clearing it out by over. They got to deal with Midhouse next, though. Taylor's right here at the bunker. Exit. Nice pre-fire there on Caffrey. Three dead. Quick! And the nice standing bar for Taylor as well. Going to push up and get that two. Fall back into the U-Haul, maybe up into barrel, and try to get some reinforcements to come back him up. Taylor hears the right spawn exit, and a nade getting primed real good here. Let's see if it comes on up in the right angle. No, Taylor able to hide from it on 54 health. Pre-firing away at that back left, is able to find Ana. Till found Debo on the other side. Patton and Leo chime in with one more apiece. Kum Kum is able to get one on Taylor. They may be able to get the two back, but PDX is up here, pushback alley, and this is going to be tough to deal with now. PDX with one. Oh, Ana, though, takes him unexpectedly from the left side there. Still over, trying to fight back for this two. Milo's got one. Pre-fire is in. He's looking for another one. He gets it. Swaths to the pistol. Now goes and finds a new bar. Going to try to get the reload off, and he does. Hat trick for Milo. Pre-fire it away. Needs to reload that bar as Taylor chimes in with another nade kill there on Caffrey. Milo draws the car shot. Pre-fire is in, and another one for Milo. That's four. 45 health to his name. Jumps across. Make it five for Milo. Somebody stop this guy. Caffrey will. And now the next thing that they have to deal with here a potential nope nope leo made some sound he had to get away from a nade so no ninja cap just yet good double nade there from till to get both Patton and pdx as well and there it is second flag recap for over respawn coming in as you can see nick is there debo at push tree and leo oh no oh they checked it Oh, they checked it, Till, hyper aware of his former teammate there and doing a good job to make sure no ninja caps pop off. Debo did trade it right back at another drive-by by Ana there. Debo's got himself a sniper here at the Axis first. Mata is ready for that push outside to the one, but Debo's not coming just yet. And over, trying to use this bunker to get out into mid, but Nick Patton is ready for it. There it is, nice shot on a pixel angle. PDX with two apiece there on the other side as well. And now Nick going to watch for that rubble push. PDX is at the two now. Another for PDX. He's got three. PDX, can he get four? Checking that sandbag real close. Caffrey was able to get Nick from mid-alley. Oh, and as soon as PDX looked away. Oh, a double pistol for Debo. He's got a sniper rifle in hand as well. Looking to extend this movie clip by a little bit more. 72 health. He's got plenty of opportunity to go for these peaks. He hears nades coming. There's a no-scope. Debo's still alive. There's one coming from the secret hallway. We'll see who peeks first. Will it be him or the guy from the front door? He fakes the reload on the pistol. Someone's going to charge in after him now. And there's the nade kill for Sokka. But Debo really causing some hell at the Axis last flag. Up to 12 kills now. Milo leads the way at 16. A couple kills go over his direction there. Now Nick Patton got to try to find a frag here on mid. Taylor did get Kum Kum, and Leo got Ana, and Leo got Sokka as well. Looks like Leo's pushing up tree now. Till is ready for it, though. Oh, but Taylor's out of bunker now. He's got a car as well. Second flag goes the way of over. Caffrey falling back from slab to try to find Taylor here. They're not sure where he's at. It looks like he's in barrel. They do get the footstep sound cue to let them know, but there's PDX. Surprise, motherfuckers. Instant 3K there. Two on the Garand, one on the Nade. Till there, though, finds two more. But Taylor's going to push the one right now, I think. Taylor's all the way up to the one. There's no one there. Oh, the unfortunate timing for over there. The respawn was just a little bit delayed. And because of that, Taylor able to find the soft spot and put this game a little bit further out of reach now on NSA's side. It was, what, 57 points and then 88. So, oh, God, 145, I think, now. Basically, over's going to have to cap out a few times. Opening pick is a good way to start there. Mata finds Debo. Taylor just waiting for that first push in bunker until with nades prime to throw to back amid. PDX and Patton chime in with one apiece and a good nade from Leo. Oh, that's a lot down on overside. It's just Ana and Sokka left. 
Ana watching the bunker push. Sees the elbow, is able to find Taylor. Saka, though, not able to get the break off as it was one on five there. And Milo getting pushed out of bunker himself now. We'll see what Milo does as he gets up to barrel here. Respawn has just come in. And Milo going to be peeking from that U-Haul right down to the two. Oh, and he finds an unsuspecting Mata there. And he's ready for the next guy to come try to peek. They are waiting right around this corner. Nade support going to come this way. Milo pre-fire is in. Hits a couple bullets there. PDX and Patton each get one. Milo trying to find the next angle. Does a lot of damage there. Finds one more kill on Ana. 27 health left to him. And now he's going to re-aggress once again. Another kill there. Milo is on fire right now. Caffrey just short of another kill there for Milo. Caffrey with the one lug as well on Patton for good measure. I think he got him out of piano room there at range with the pistol. Two nade kills go the way of NSA right back. And now PDX at the point of the spear trying to push for another cap out. What a shot there on a jumping Mata. PDX looking for the next peak down to 50. Oh, the pistol headshot though. Takes out Sokka. Till with the nade kill, able to bring him right back. Oh, will they check this corner? Will they check this corner? They haven't yet. Leo, such trigger discipline. They don't realize it yet either. Oh, Leo. Oh, my God. They still don't realize it. No one going to turn around. Look at this trigger discipline. It is something to marvel at right now. I'm not switching off this. I want to see how this plays out. He's got 20 health, so one misthrown grenade would end it, but I think he's going to be able to pull this off. Nobody's died near there either to check the death cam accidentally. This is crazy. Who wants to sword fight? I think Leo right now could sword fight three guys without them being able to return the favor from this spot. Here he comes. Dan and Oh no, there's a spawn. He didn't check it. They didn't notice it. They didn't notice it. Leo with a perfectly executed ninja here. And now NSA just has to let them get close to mid. Dan Dan and Dan and Dan and Dan and there it is. Wow. Insane work by Leo there. I mean, to to have the discipline to not shoot in any of those situations is bonkers. Like, what a job by Leo there. That absolutely puts this out of reach now. They'd have to cap, I think, four times. Just flawless execution on Leo. He's the ninja master in this game. And right there, a perfect example of why. Just nuts. Absolutely flawless execution by Leo. 22 kills on Milo and 20 on PDX. 18 on Nick, 17 on Leo, 14 on Debo. And that was almost teamed down. Just Till left alive. Oh, never mind. He was dead too. He did get a dead nade kill. NSA might be getting another cap out of this. D oh no, Milo does die in the last flag. Nice shot for Till there. But Taylor's up next. Taylor, oh, he did a lot of damage there. I'm not sure how any of them didn't die. He's going to have to fall back now and reload everything. So NSA right back in full control of this map now. Taylor able to find Caffrey there. Pre-fire it is away. PDX and Patton with one apiece. Oh, and a nice nade from Sokka there. Able to get Taylor out of that. You all! But Debo just ran out. No one was watching the one. They all got a little bit out in front of that. And Debo, I think he ninja capped that. Because I think if he had killed anybody, over would have been turning around there. So that's another cap out. 200 to 9 this half. I mean, the math is pretty easy now. That's a 148-point lead for over with five and a half minutes left. 40-point cap outs. You're looking at four caps needed in five and a half minutes. Just crazy work here by NSA exploding in these last few minutes of the game. Mata trying to bring it back, at least get some kind of a victory out of this game heading into map two. PDX and Milo chime in with one and a nice 3K there for Mata. Mata with the hat trick. Oh, what a shovel kill for Till there on Milo. Just to add a little insult to injury. Oh, but Patton is in mid-alley. No one saw that coming. Nick is able to get one before the mid-cap goes off. Kum Kum with two right back. And now they find one in lower church here. Debo looks like he might throw an aid through the staircase. He throws two for good measure. And then Leo is able to hit the shot from behind on Kum Kum, who is just trying to get away from those grenades. Sokka with the nade for rubble. He sees one lower church, but not going to react to that just yet. Sees one tree as well. Now he's going to have free reign of Susie here. Ana with the double kill over on the other side of the map. And Caffrey with one more. So over might be able to. What a shot on Milo there for Sokka as well. Quick respawn at least here for NSA. PDX is able to get one. But Mata trades it right back. So over looks like they're going to get mid now. 
Unless something crazy is about to happen. No. They do get mid. And Sokka's pushed all the way up graveyard. Here he's got one. Sokka ready for the next man up. Pre-fire is in. And Milo too quick on the bar there. So, oh, wall shot for Nick Patton on Mata up there and Upper Susie as well. And just as soon as they've got mid, they're in this position now. they got to hold it against at least four players of NSA. Till with the initial nade here for the back of Rubble. He's got another one, too. Going to throw it on up there. That will at least stall NSA from being able to get up and try to recap mid. And now he's got himself a nice little spot to make sure they don't make it beyond triple box. We're going to see if it works. Sokka with the TK nade. Ooh, Till sees one. They didn't notice him in the crater, though. Sokka finds one there at the back of mid. Patton trades that back for mid alley. Till trying to decide what he wants to do, but Debo spots him from upper church there. Nick on this bar taking a push up. PDX gets the kill in loft. Patton just pushed up a little too far there. PDX is able to get two, and Caffrey with two as well. Taylor going to push out a bunker at this time. See if he can grab Caffrey on the way, but the respawn was instantaneous. Right here. I got one in the mouth and uh, like 15 in the chamber. Caffrey doing a good job holding on to mid. Three minutes left. Obviously a bit of a formality at this point, but every kill over can get now will help gain some confidence heading into Lennon, which is over's favorite map. Obviously, though, you still have to play NSA on it, so it's a little bit of a different story. Uh, not a whole lot of fun places to deal with NSA on Lennon, that's for sure. Taylor and Milo in apartments, Nick and Debo on Long, PDX and Leo and Well. I mean, there's no holes in that lineup on that map. Sokka now going to get out lower Sue's here. Oh, but a perfect nade by PDX, man. 30 kills for Milo, 27 on PDX. Mata trying to hang on to both bunker and mid. Taylor's able to get two in bunker exit. Not going to push out just yet. Sniper's got eyes trained on him. That's a hell of an angle if he can hit that shot, man. Got to be real quick on that motherfucker. Mata sees one upper church, just misses the first shot. Debo able to find Caffrey, but Till finds Nick right back. Mata waiting for the re-push here from upper, but Debo's going to nade Suze. He's got a carbine as well. And don't make fun of the carbine, because let me tell you, as somebody who's had to use that a couple times on Lennon, it can be a real fucking pain in the ass gun for people to deal with. Just got to aim for the head and run. Oh, and Debo's prone up in the tower. Immediate Garand kill, though, right back for Leo as uh, Kum Kum sniped him out of there. And now Leo going to push up Bunker. Nade's coming over top. No one going to spam that barrel. Eventually, someone's going to hit that barrel shot. I swear to God. And Leo just going to fall right back. He falls back into uh, Kum Kum. And he's able to get that frag on Kum Kum in mid alley. Ooh, he sees one there at Bunker. Exit. Nice kill there for Ana. And Taylor trades that right back. Mata having a good last couple minutes here, though, up in the loft. And another nice shot there on PDX. Mata starting to feel it here. And that would be good for over. A again, every bit of confidence that comes here is good. Oh, thank you, Ana. Thank you. Good game. Mwah. Much appreciated. I know I saw you hit a bunch of ridiculous shots on this STG half, at least. And now over. Trying to just hang on to mid here for the last minute. Again, every little bit of a victory heading into London will be nice. Kum Kum checking out lower church. There's the peak from upper tower. I'm not sure if he got that frag. No, I don't think so. I think that's Leo. Leo's still alive as he finds Till. Ooh, Kum Kum just misses the flick. Leo with another one. Kum Kum holding the off angle. Nice shot on PDX. Leo's still alive. No, Mata gets him out of there. And now over, going to be able to push up Rubble. 30 seconds left, but Nick is able to find Kum Kum at the head of that push. Patton with another one now as well. Taylor going to swap to that car. Milo finds Ana in bunker. And now NSA might be able to cap mid in this waning seconds of the game. Sokka with a nice kill from Slab. And a nade kill to break mid as well. And a pistol kill. Sokka, oh, but he dies to a dead nade there from his teammate. A little unfortunate as Sokka started to get going. Oh, nice. I definitely saw you hit some drive-by STG headshots on people who had zero chance of killing you in return. Just crazy insta headshots. There it is. First map in the books. Uh, what did it end up being? 201 to 29 that half, so got to do a little math. We know how I feel about that. 201, so that's 280. 229, that's 51. Okay, Thunder 2. We're headed to Lennon next. We all know Over loves Lennon, so... Oh, shit, I forgot to take off the uh, the MVP part. No, no problem at all. Good luck on Lennon, too. I think this game is going to be a fun one. I know you guys love Lennon, so... 
Kum Kum and Saka on well versus Leo and PDX in particular is going to be real fun. And then the apartments battle as well. Curious to see where everybody ends up going. All right, let me get this demo name taken care of as well, because that's going to be... I'll, I'll forget for sure. Map to Lenin first half. <sighs> Good luck, have fun. Right, do it. I want to see a third map here. I want to see this go to Anzio. Let's go. All right. So, obviously, Lenin, a map that historically plays allied sided although i think on this version of it it's been more even like you see teams just have blowout games on their axis side and then lose their allied side so it's definitely a map where the sidedness tends to kind of play off of the play style of the players and how hot a half they're having on their routes as well oh shit i need to turn down that volume too whoops okay any surprises on the classes here doesn't look like it I, I assume at least, uh, uh, then again, on this half, I'm not sure that NSA actually had Debo go long. I think he was kind of, him and PDX kind of swapped back and forth depending on what was necessary. I know I didn't run into Debo and long all that much in our game on Lennon, at least on, on my allied side. Definitely on allied, on his allied side, he was long the majority of the time and in apartments. Um... But yeah, I mean, this is it's it's a tough map against NSA because they're all such good players. Sometimes this map can just come down to you know, who wins the gun battles. There we go. Start recording. Oh, yeah. No doubt about that. Mata is on the sniper again here, so no switching. I know sometimes Till does snipe and Mata heavies. Looks like Ana's going on the rifle for the time being. And it looks like it'll be Till and Caffrey on the heavy in apartments. Up against Milo and Taylor. Ana and Mata on long. Up against Debo and Patton for the most part. And then, of course, um, Leo and PDX up against Sokka and Kum Kum, which is going to be, I mean, that route is going to be an absolute fucking heavyweight battle there. Who can hit the craziest shots on well? Like, I I've played games against Kum Kum and Sokka on this map where, on their allied side especially, they both end up with like 45 plus kills. They are just very, very good at uh, at timing their pushes and and the and understanding the angles where they're best at instead of just kind of pushing aimlessly from spot to spot. Should be a good one. I have I have high expectations for this game. Obviously, everyone's gonna take a little break in between maps. This is a lot of DOD for anyone to play. Even e even after years of doing best of threes, I still need like a ten minute break between every map because best of threes are fucking draining. And don't even get me started when it goes a full three maps. Oh, yeah. No doubt. No doubt there's going to be a whole lot of, like, oh, we, we lost both our well guys. Whoever's closest on the respawn got to come straight over there with nades, try to hang on to it. And then on the reverse side, especially on Axis, um, once they are down to their last flag, if they're able to get a few kills defending it, they'll flood long because long is a quicker cap. You know, it takes, I think, like, one and a half seconds to cap instead of the two, three seconds that Well does. So you can kind of flood through long, try to jump on it as quickly as possible just to not be at risk of being capped out for the time being. It's a very fun map in regards to the way that people move around it and rotate. Like, you have your set routes, but a lot of the time, it's just like, we spawned at this time and we were about to lose this route, so this is where I went. Very, very fast-paced game, I expect, here. Okay, just waiting on Till now. See what's going on. I'm not sure. I think there's another match going on right now, right? Uh, or at least there was supposed to be. I'm not, I'm not sure if maybe it got rescheduled. That's KTP New York 1. Corey's big boner jams. Yeah, the, the Sob Insomnia game. So we can see the frag totals there, at least. Rib at 24, and Scotty at 24, Yanni 23, Pibby in 23, Toki 18, 9. Oh, Corey got to play today, too. Nice. That That is a scary team when Corey gets on that Insomnia roster. Right, dude? Exactly, Casey. I, I like, best of threes, you know, when I was younger, it was like, oh, yeah, best of threes. Now it's kind of like, oh, fuck, a best of three. Hopefully we either win or lose in two. That's all I'm ever thinking in a best of three. 
Like, I'm going to die in that third game. There we go. Till has now joined allies, so we should be getting started momentarily. That is a, a big game going on in Silver as well right now. If Saab can get this upset over Insomniac Gamers, Insomnia would lose that one seed. And, uh, well, not necessarily lose it right then. Riley Staffer in the house. Let's go, baby. Coming to support the team. I like it. I like it. Good to see you back. Oh, all right. Looks like they both said ready. Oh, maybe the config wasn't exact yet. Not quite yet. <laughs> there it is. We're live. Who's got a front spawn here? Uh-oh. Okay. Was a little bit AFK, but not quite. There we go. See who's going to get out in front here. Looks like Anna ended up with the front spawn, at least. She will be trying to nade up that ramp long. See if it lands. NSA, they're not going to, you know, overly aggressive push into that grenade, so... Maybe got some damage off. More nade support coming from an apartments player. Debo did find the opening pick there on Kumkum Kum on the other side of the map. And now Debo's at the one. Oh, but Caffrey, a good rotation to come back and find him before any more damage can be done there. Patton just misses that shot into upper apps on Caffrey coming through. Oh, what a kill by Mata. PDX trades it right back. Oh, they don't know Ana's here. And Ana able to hit the ninja headshot. And they'll get long. Nice play by Ana there. Wait. Nobody's capping long. They had three there, and now they only have one. There we go. Somebody came back to cap it. A little bit of a miscom there for a second. Nice kill for Ana again on Nick. And now Ana going to try to push up to the long steps here. She's up to L. Mostly full HP. Oh, but Milo is able to get her from the blue steps. And on well now. In the meantime, NSA has pushed through Khan again. Debo able to grab that allied first. Drops straight under the one. We'll see if over grab it right back. They do. Debo doing a, a whole lap of the map now. Just marathon running. Oh my god, I know. The the silver division is just always so crazy. I, I It is heart attack worthy at times. You never know what to expect in any of those games. Anybody can beat anybody in that division at all times. Debo, oh, almost finds the flick there on Till, but Till is able to get it back. But long in the hands of NSA. Nice shot for Nick Patton there. Trying to spam the upper blue hall there through the wall. It looks like Over may be able to get... Well, no, a big break there from Taylor on rotation from underpass. And as Alapex mentioned earlier in the chat, lots of very, very quick rotations coming from both sides there. Taylor going to head over to Long now to try to take a, a little bit indirect route into apartments to get Till out of there. We'll see how that goes for him. He might go all the way around. He is. He's going to go all the way around to get a totally different angle on Till here from the allied side long. Uh-oh. Somebody's ready for it, though. Is that Tiller? Is that Caffrey? It's Caffrey. He goes down to Taylor. Now the jig is up. Pre-fire is in on that Garand. And a nice kill there on Ana for Taylor. Taylor going to try to get mid back. But no, Till is there in mid holding it down still. Saka and Kumkum Kum go down to Debo and Leo, respectively. And PDX coming with a nade for swing. Till's got to hold on to mid now. By oh, what a headshot for Debo. They do get the one back. Where's Till? There he is. He jumped out to Long. Able to find PDX there as well. He's going to head back into mid now. But there's somebody there. Caffrey with the TK on Till. They know Leo's in mid now because they just saw each other as they passed like ships in the night. Leo falling back as his heavies are going to nade mid there. Ana is able to get Taylor from upper apps. Nice shot for Leo in return. And that's mid cap for NSA. Leo with another one on Till. Caffrey a good trade, but now Milo. Ready for that next peak. There it is. Milo brings it right back to even numbers. Nade support coming in from Long. Saka finds Debo. And now NSA are posted up all over this map, holding on to the double caps. Milo just spotting the lower long push. Mata's able to get by there. He got PDX and he got mid for his trouble. Milo does draw fire and hits an excellent last bullet shot there on the head of Mata. Just Ana and Till left alive. Now they got to try to defend their own first flag. Leo's coming this way through Khan. Till's able to find Taylor. Waiting for that re-aggression, and it's not there. Unfortunate. There's just a big, wide opening in the defensive over there, so. Oh, and there is a little bit of BM coming from Till's former teammates. Cap swing, they say. I believe Till was uh, got the kill swing and was trying to get to the mid flag. NSA coming out aggressive off this initial now. Taylor waiting for the nades to go out blue. Nothing happening just yet. Till coming out lower long doors with a nade. Does find Nick with that one. And now waiting for the push in from uh, upper apps. 
Not going to come. Oh, they ran right by the flag. Milo does go down to Caffrey for that aggression. And now Till going to wait to try to help support Long. PDX is there, though, with two. And he's looking for the spam for a third. Don't do it, PDX. This would be absolutely deadly. Oh, he sees one in loft. Not able to hit the first wall shot, but someone else is about to peek up a wraps 100% here. Leo gets Coom Coop. Oh, Leo's up in red room, too. This is one of his best spots on any map. Pushing up here on well. Debo does go down to a soccer grenade. Milo holding double windows. Caffrey finds Taylor. And now Milo going to try to make sure to trade that back and try to get in the middle before they can get out long. Falls back to Well. Insta headshot there on Sokka. And now they're going to have a two-pronged push here up through Well. Leo takes the push con. Milo slots into lower red to make sure they don't lose it. Good work by NSA all around on their coverage here. PDX getting the nade ready for the long cap. And he gets Caffrey off of it. I'm not sure where Caffrey was there. Ana is able to trade it back from Big Wall. Next up is Leo here to try to push Khan. Oops, sees a, sh a foot there. Pulls out the pistol. Back to the car. And Sokka's able to finish him off with that uh, Colt. As now Debo's got to try to hang on to Well. In lower red. Doesn't hit that STG shot. Swaps to the Garan. Does hit that shot. Now going for the spam out. Lower red into Khan. Maybe hit a guy. Can't tell for sure. Peeking again as Taylor grabs mid. Taylor with two kills and apartments there. Till is able to trade it back. And now Sokka trying to sneak up. And there it is. He hits Debo to get him out of well. Maybe a chance for over to go for this well cap. Ooh, Nick Patton in a fight for his life over here. Nick Patton and PDX, two of the last three alive. Over trying to get on either of these double caps. Sokka calling for reinforcements now. Might be a flag bait there. It is. And they're just spamming those blue doors right now. Till able to find a car kill from underpass. Ana with two on long there. Over going to be able to get long too, I think. Over starting to feel it now. Caffrey, oh no. Suicide nade for him. Over got to try to hold on to these double caps. Ana goes down to a Leo grenade. Sokka, nice repeat there on Debo. The trade attempt comes in. Oh, and Taylor with a nice pre-fire. He does die to Kum Kum right after. And now Kum Kum got to hold on to well. Finds a car. Oh, what a 180 kill there on Milo. Kum Kum just spinning circles, taking Milo out with that car. Leo goes down in the process to Till as well. So over now starting to get their uh, their wits about him here on Lennon. Ooh, Kum Kum sees one cross. It's Debo. He goes down. NSA able to get long back in the process. Over though, still doing a good job. Nice peek by Milo there to get Kum Kum out of well. Patton as well. Milo with another kill. Till does get Patton, so Long will go back to over, but NSA is going to get well in the process of it. There it is. Both double caps are traded, and now Milo with a car trying to push up through Khan here. See if nades come in preemptively. Ooh, just a little bit of a wide peek there. Milo holding the, the tight angle, not able to hit the car shot. Till does get a kill in double windows on Taylor, so we'll see what's going to happen next here. If Over can get up onto Well, Till goes down to a nice nade from Debo. Oh, what a shot by Sock on the flick, but Leo is there in upper red too, so still NSA coming up spades here on the Well cap. Oh, but Leo goes down to a patent kill there from underpass, trying to come over and support. They're not sure exactly how that happens. They're looking around for a Nick Patton now. Taylor's in blue, as is uh, Milo there. Oh no, Milo's at long. Yeah, Milo went long, and he came in through the double doors. Till finds him. Little peekaboo headshot there. Sokka able to get both off well in the process. Leo's dead. Nate did get the frag. Oh, and Taylor with a one lug. Everything coming up, NSA now across the map. Just Mata and Kumkum Kum left alive. NSA definitely getting long. We'll see what's going to happen here at well. Kumkum Kum might need to fall back, maybe. Mata did get PDX. Kum Kum in upper red trying to cut off this push from there. Nice shot on Debo and a nice shot on Leo. But immediately a third peak there from double windows. Oh man, I, I wish if, if I had a second computer, I could set it up to do both at the same time. One of these days, I'm going to try it. One of these days. I have a second monitor. I, oh, Sokka with a double knife kill there. You don't see that happen ever. Patton, in the meantime, was able to get two kills over in middle, but Sokka, with the highlight of this game so far, a double knife kill as Nade Support's coming into the one. Sokka going to jump back onto this double cap and try to get it. I, I don't know if I've ever seen a double knife in any of the casts I've done. Certainly not one in that situation. Sokka with another kill there on Taylor. He's down to 15 health from that Nade, and another Nade comes his way from PDX, just dumps it on his face. 
over. Got to try to hold on to this well cap. Leo's able to get Till and Mata. Nice nade from Ana to get him right back. He's being shot from mid in the meantime, though. Ana got to try to relocate here to Spiral and hang on for dear life. Kumkum's Kum going to flank long. They did get eyes on him, though, and STG shot at him from behind there. They're ready for the peak from L, and Patton's already turned around. Caffrey just misses that bar shot into blue. Ready for the re-peak from Dubs. Debo on the uh, Unter is able to find two. Till trades one back and a second one back. And there's a third. Saka able to get Taylor out of well from uh, upper red. But now PDX, seven health. Got to hang out along by himself for the time being. First kill is good. Sees Mata go bunny hopping across upper apartments now. No one peeking from the allied side along itself. Mata's on the Thompson now for more mobility. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, nice shot again for PDX. Overs well team doing a great job just pushing through here. Unfortunately, though, on the Axis side, you do end up flooding long a lot, and that's the trouble that Overs running into on long currently. Another 2K there for Kum Kum. Kum Kum's feeling it on this allied half. Till up to 21 and 10, Sokka 17, and Kum Kum on a hell of a run right now with 5. 11 kills in total, but 5 kills on this streak. Now trying to make sure double windows is clear. Till is pushed out ahead of this long cap, and there it is. Over with both double caps now. Cutting that lead down by quite a bit. Gaining these ticks now, so making it more competitive right away. Nine minutes left for them to continue this good work. Two kills traded back for one there by Caffrey's dead nade. Sorry, it's an alive grenade. PDX is able to get him, though, so now it's a dead nade for what it's worth. <laughs> you are not too late. Someone could throw a bet up on there. There's plenty of mods around. Leo, nice car shot to find Till and double windows there. Till with two in the process, but now he's back to spawn, and they got to try to hold on to these double caps. They need all the ticks they can get. Mata back on the sniper as they go into defense mode. Oh, nice shot from Taylor there up in a dubs. Nade support comes in as well from Blue. Ana does get patent as well, so good job from over here defending the caps. Taylor leading the way for NSA 20 until at 23 and 11, having a hell of a half here on the bar. Now NSA is poised to go for a well cap, but they need to get him out of there. Really? I can't, uh, you guys can't put up a feet bed? I thought you just do like a uh, slash, what is it? Slash vote or slash poll, slash poll, I think. And here we go. They've got the one now. Leia was pushed all the way up ahead of this well cap. They're going to get well as well. Leo's got another nade for the spawn now. This could be huge. Leo gets one. Debo with one. Leo with a second. But Ana cleans up two there. Nicely done to get him off that last flag. Milo is there to get her right back. But over. Not quite dead in the water yet. It looked like they were about to give up a full cap. But the defense was good. Patton waiting for this upper apps push. There's Milo with another kill. That time on Caffrey. Looks like maybe NSA is going to get mid back. No, Till is here in Spiral. So it doesn't have eyes on the flag, but would be able to re-peek it and get it back. There it is. Milo goes down, trying to find Till. And another one for Till. Debo was next up there. Till going to cross double windows. He's all the way up to the blue room cubby now. Ooh, there's an... Uh... Oh, never mind. He's dead. I was going to say there's a STG underpass there, but Sokka gets him well going back to over. But in the meantime, NSA does get long, so... Just instant trade. PDX is right up into mid two, and they might he might come all the way back to flank Till here in Cubby. Nice peek by Leo. Wow. Lightning fast car kill there. PDX pushed up into back cave now, too. Watching the back for a drop here into Spiral. Just misses that flick. Gonna push even further up underneath the Allied One. Waiting for anyone to give themselves up here. The nade is great from Till, though, to get him out of there. Nice cheater peak shot there from Debo. Instantly traded from Kum Kum. And Taylor with a double kill defending that long cap. Every time NSA has needed a clutch kill on a double cap. Yeah, mods should be able to. Mods should be able to. There we go. Brian's going to do it. Brian was the first one to figure out how to do it. Because I had no idea originally. Till trying to get ready to go in and try to re-grab this mid flag. He hears a lot of footsteps. So he's a little bit paranoid about it. Here we go. It gets up into the mid. NSA is grabbing well in the meantime. Oh, there was a nade kill, but it wasn't a break. Leo finds Kum Kum with nade in hand, but is immediately traded by Mata. Good work. Now Debo's gotten pushed all the way up in the lower tree. Five and a half minutes left, and it's a 63-point lead right now for NSA. 
far from insurmountable at this point. Oh, Debo's going for the ninja. Debo wants that ninja cap. He's going for the shovel. I lied. He's going for the shovel instead of the ninja. Going to wait to try to spam this door, it looks like. Yep, there it is. Spamming away. Still full health for him, but Mata coming to try to rectify that as quickly as he can with that sniper wall shot. Oh, but in the meantime, someone pushes Khan. Nice adjustment there for Mata to get Leo. Milo finds Till in apartments as well. And Mata going to drop into back cave to try to watch this next push. Debo still in lower red. Finds two. Oh, no. This could be the cap out that Over cannot afford to give up. They've been in such good shape. Kum Kum hit Debo there. He is able to get the frag in the end with the pistol. Thank God for Over as well because they were about to give up a full cap there. Kum Kum with the nade into Khan. PDX with a 2K right back. One was a nade. One with the car. PDX with a third. Leia with one as well. Kum Kum falling back at a jumping car. Four kills for PDX. Putting the team on the back when they need to cap out most. And that will extend the lead up to 133 points for NSA. Over had done such a good job there. Such a good job. Alright. One more initial to go here. Unless there's another cap out. In this half, that is. Four and a half minutes left. Plenty of time for Over to make up this deficit. Even just in this half. Leo does find the opening pick. And NSA very good at when they get that connector kill, rushing straight through to that one. Just instantly taking advantage of that opening. There it is, Debo. Pushing straight up onto the allied one. He can flank long, he can flank mid. Here's the respawn coming. Mata and Caffrey get one apiece. On is down to a PDX pistol kill. Debo's gonna break this long cap. Jesus, fuck Debo all the way around the map. Milo's there long too. That's a lot dead, it's all Till. Till last alive, he gets two holding on to mid. He's gotta get that flag, he does. Good work by Till to prevent another cap out from happening instantly there. Ana is able to get Leo as well. Milo finds Till prone there in the mid connector. Sniper rifle in hand, able to make it a little bit of an easier kill than it would have been with an automatic. Three and a half minutes remain. 32, uh, 132 point lead, that is. Nice kill for Ana there on long. Caffrey with a double kill as well. Oh, that's a lot dead on NSA now. Where's Taylor? He's last alive. He's in blue trying to get this break. And he is able to get Sokka, so no well cap coming for over just yet. Leo's dead nade actually was the other half of that break because Kum Kum... Oh, what a pre-fire car kill there for Taylor. He's down to 2 HP. Oh, he hits the wall shot! What a 3k for Taylor there. Gets the STG kill for the break, gets the flick car, and then hits the wall shot through lower blue. It is three kills traded back the other way here by Over, but immediately traded two right back there by Debo and Milo on cars. Patton with one more on the pistol as well. Milo with another one on the car. Patton does go down to a pistol of Mata. Mata's going to try to take a push up, try to cut off a spawn wave here. That's a new one. Milo's pushed up to the one. Milo's got another one. Ana, though, trades it back before Milo can do more damage. Who's leading the way here? Till with 31. Leo and Taylor make that 29 for Leo. I was going to say they both had 28. And Debo at 26. PDX with a nice two kill there. Again, one grenade, one car. Kum Kum and Sokka trying to make their way out of this well and get that cap. But they lose long in the process. They've got to defend here. At, at very least, not give up another cap out in this half. You want to keep it in that three cap range. But NSA... You know, easier said than done when you got all these guys coming at you. Come Come gets two and then is traded by a dead nade. Patton there with another one. Caffrey with two. Patton's able to trade that back. Mata coming up with a pistol. Patton gets another one. PDX with one more now coming up from the one. PDX with another. Till's got to try to hang on to this. Till is there and he is again clutch for Till. Till has been the most clutch player in this game by far. Sokka adds another knife kill to the tally. That's three at least for him. At least. He might have four. It's got to be a record for knife kills in a KTP casted game. Two traded back to each side there. Milo, Kum Kum, and Mata making up for all those. Now NSA trying to break this well cap. PDX. Oh, Debo gets the nade, but it's right after the cap, so no break comes. Will they be able to cap it right back, or is there someone here to break it? No. No break coming. And now over, got to try to at least hold on here. Two health on Till, too. He might have to grab that mid-flag. Uh, no, he's able to get a frag first, so... 
A little bit pre uh, premature by me. Till gets another one as well. It's all Patton and Taylor. Patton and Taylor go down. That's team dead. How quick a respawn will they get? There's the respawn. Do they have anyone out in front to go for a full cap here? They don't. Here comes a lot of nade support, though. Caffrey's able to get one. Sokka with one as well. Milo does get one back on Ana. Caffrey's up here in L Hall with 28. How though? And what a pre-fire by Milo. Holy shit. Able to get Caffrey out of that L Hall. Kum Kum trades one back on Debo. And another one for Kum Kum there. 15 seconds left for Over to try to get one full cap out of this. Nice shot for Mata. 10 seconds remain. Thinning out those numbers. But Nick Patton has ninja his way out long here. So there might be no way for them to get this cap out. We'll see. Nope, they're not close. Still. 258 to 125, not bad, 133 points, basically three caps. Wait, no, that's basically two caps, because it's a double-double cap. Well, 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 not too shabby there for over. They're in very good position to have a chance at winning this thing and pushing us to a third map. Okay, 258 to 125. Did I stop the demo? I hope so. Nope, yes, I did, okay. 258 to 125 for over. Let me look at the frag totals for everyone here. Ha 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 ha, Are they playing? Yeah, they are playing in New York. So Till top fragged the server there with 35 on the bar. Next up was Kum Kum with 27, 24 on Sokka, 20 on Caffrey, 19 Mata, 17 on Ana. And then on the other side for NSA, 30 on Debo, 29 on Leo, 29 on Taylor, 27 on PDX, 22 on Milo, and 19 on Nick. And obviously a 133-point lead here for NSA headed into their allied side on Lennon. So you're going to have bars, you're going to have Garands. It's going to be tough, but it's very doable for over here. Again. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so fucking tired. I feel bad saying that after what uh, Bees was saying earlier about how he hasn't slept in 24 hours and had to drive the same six hours I just did. But I'm definitely taking a nap after this. That is true. You you don't purposefully lower your FPS. It just does it on its own. It's a feature, not a bug. It's a feature of your GPU and processor and... 60 hertz monitor. I know. You got me. You got me. <clears throat> All right. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Any surprises on the class here? Not till is heavy and again. Caffrey on the Unter, Kum Kum and Saka on the cars, Ana on the Stas, Mata on the Sniper, and on the other side, everyone's doing the same thing they were doing last time. Oh, shit, I almost forgot to record. Not this time. All right, there we go. There we go. Who's got the front spawn here? Looks like Milo. We'll see if he jumps out long or if he's going to push double windows. Whatever he does, it's the right call because Milo is one of the best heavies in the game, period. Gonna go ahead and nade double windows and take the peek. There it is. Opening kill goes the way of Milo on NSA's side. And he might go take a push straight up there. Nade's gonna come from Blue Room. Milo's still on full HP. Pre-fire coming from Caffrey from the cubby. Oh, what a double nade for... Oh, what a shot there by Kum Kum. Double nade for Debo on long means a long cap here for NSA, but the cars have over, wreaking havoc on the other side of the map. Taylor is here to potentially be able to go for a well break. He's not gonna push it, though. Oh, nice hold by Caffrey there on the off angle and dubs. No chance for Taylor to even get close on that break. 43 health on Caffrey as he goes for this mid uh, this mid flag. Over's got the well. And obviously Long can turn around in the blink of a fucking eye. Caffrey just going to hold on, wait for this uh, push in by NSA. Ooh, the little drive by peak there is good for Milo as he's able to find the frag. Till next up here. Does find Milo. Ready for the next one up too. Pre-fire is in. He finds Debo. Taylor able to trade it from the flag itself. But Till with another multi-kill. Leo watching for this connector push now. Nothing coming yet. Mata. Oh, that looked good. 
Patton able to get away with his life there with the jump. Mata trying to find him. Ooh, wait, Sokka has died to a crater. Nades are coming over top from Long. Debo's nade is good. It finds Ana. PDX got Caffrey as well. And now Mata. Oh, wow. What a, what a spot from Milo there on the little overhang of the Long window. And now NSA going to get well. And Taylor's pushed up blue. Taylor's got one. Down to 11 HP. He's walled, but Milo gets two right back. Milo looking for a third now. He's on 27 health. He's pre-fired away. Milo is taken out by Caffrey. PDX gets him. PDX with another one as well. Patton there to back him up, but two kills go back the way of over. They're still alive here. Kum Kum ready for this blue room push. There's a nade there. He almost walked into it. Holy fuck. He is still alive, though. Going to open the door. Ooh, and Till is there to back him up as Debo came running out. No one there. Still blue, but a nade from PDX. The respawn was so fast for NSA. By the time over even got into blue room, there was already more nades coming right for him. Taylor swaps out to that car. Watching for the underpass push. Lots of bullets being shot at that doorway right now. A lot. Mata does get patent, so this might help open things up at long for over. Taylor, ooh, just missing that car shot. And he is able to get it again, though, on Caffrey. And there's a grand butt for Debo, no less. Sokka trades one back on PDX. Sokka with another one as well. Sokka looking for the third. He pulls out the pistol. Oh, he come come got him. And then Sokka was pre-firing. Oh my god, I thought Milo was just about to go ninja cap. He went out towards well. That was a very crazy exchange there. Oh, they don't see each other. Till is there to get two from underpass. PDX got an aid prime. Just a lot of uh, chaos going on in well. Caffrey is here now in double windows to try to back things up. Taylor with the drive-by, though. The nade is good. It gets Taylor before the break, and over is going to get well after all that insanity went on before that. Patton trying to flank is taken out by Kum Kum. PDX, though, gets the nade kill on Sokka in red. Kum Kum taken out by PDX as well. And another kill for PDX. That's the PDX special. He gets one with the nade. Oh, and he walls Caffrey! The new PDX special is when he gets one with the nade and three with the gun, and one of them straight through two walls. That should be a cap out for NSA, it looks like. No, the respawn is in. Another one for PDX. They do end up getting the cap. Leia with the prone dive. PDX, I was going to say, the PDX special is when he gets a nade kill right at the same time as he gets two gun kills. Then he went and added a double wall shot for good measure through the two blue room walls, so... That does extend that NSA lead, making it a little bit tougher for Over to get a comeback here. Nick looking for that opening peak. Uh, you hear bullets going by his head, but I think that's a glitch. Nice shot for Nick there on Mata. Next up is the STG here. Milo gets two of his own. Debo able to find Ana there, and that's a lot dead. That might be team. No, Kum Kum still alive. Milo going to push straight out to this one. Do they expect this at all? Milo with a second. They're coming all the way to the arch side right now. Milo's got to be ready for uh, straight to his right. Oh, he hit the flick. Taylor is next up. He goes down to Sokka, though. Good work by Over not to crumble at that last flag. And now two left alive. It's the long team for NSA. Patton still going strong, able to find Mata. Kum Kum. Oh, do they hear the door? What? What? Kum Kum just shot straight through Taylor in midair. They were ready for it, but that definitely should have at least been one kill for Kum Kum there. He shot directly through the body. Directly through. Milo is able to get mid back. Over going to have to hop on this long cap. They should be able to get it. It's very quick cap. Till does get Milo. Debo's there. He lets them cap it. Gets a knife kill and a Garan kill in the... Oh, sorry, a sniper kill in the back. And now NSA might be able to re-grab this long flag. No. Taylor looked like he was about to go out. Till was there behind him. And another kill there for Debo on long. PDX spamming this wall. Is taken out from underpass by Kum Kum. And now Kum Kum trying to get Leo out of upper red. Leo spamming away. Looks like he's got a nice spam spot there at the back of the upper red room to get underpass without, like, giving himself up. Mata trying to nade underpass to help out there. Ends up killing Sokka in the process. Mata's on the stoss now for more mobility. I did hear a negative go off somewhere. Not sure who it was or what they did it for. Sokka gets two from double windows. Sokka having himself a real good game here. <clears throat> Getting a lot of multi-kills. Oh, Sokka wants a shovel. He's not going to get one this time. Till with the flying bar is immediately traded by Milo. And now Ana holding on with the sniper rifle. Caffrey's here in blue trying to protect this last flag. I was going to say, I think they heard one go underpass. And there it is. Leo with another cap out. 
after that really crazy cap out he had on Thunder where, I mean, I don't know how he didn't shoot somebody. I don't know how. Let's see what PDX is going to do off this initial here. Going to go ahead and push on into Lower Tree. Get a nade ready to go for Boardwalk or for the cap. Just trying to listen in and see where these guys are at. Here we go. He's going to go ahead and throw it straight to blue. There is an 8 coming into lower red. He's down to 8 HP. Caffrey and Mata chime in for 3 between the two of them, but 2 right back go the way of NSA. Long goes to over. PDX's nade came out a little bit earlier than he would have liked because he died. No nade kill for him there in blue. Now Till just ready for a potential push-up underpass. Going to try to make sure nothing happens here at their last flag. Oh, he saw one there. He heard one, then he saw one. He's stalking him right now like prey. Taylor gets two on the bar, and now Till maybe going to try to go for this well cap. Milo gets mid. Oh, nice shot there from PDX. Fine and Till trying to push up and go for that well. Milo does get Sokka as well. That's well teamed down. Milo with another one. Patton goes down to Mata on long. Milo going to push out blue, and a nade kill for Till there gets him out before he can do anything else. Debo with the nade up in the loft. No one there just yet. Leo, nade kill on Till. And now Debo waiting for the next peak. 12 minutes left here. <laughs> oh, Debo! Right on cue with the chat there. Gets a Garan buck kill. There's been a lot of melee kills in this game. I'd say a shocking amount of melee kills would be accurate. Three kills go the way of over now, at least. They could go for a double cap, potentially. Milo does get Caffrey right back, though. And Sokka just trying to sneak up on Long to find the next person peeking. But Patton is right there. Sokka. Sokka didn't realize that. Oh, and Patton gets the pistol kill. That's so many dead on over. Respawn is in. Milo's pushed all the way up to the one. He's got two. He does go down on the flag. Kumkum able to get two. Can they get the flag back in time? No, Nick Patton is there to get two more. And there it is. Another full cap for NSA. Pouring it on here on the allied side. Just excellent work by NSA all through the lineup right now. Let's see. Uh, well, let's watch one of the heavies. Let's watch Milo. Milo not with the front spawn this time. Going to have to play it a little bit safe here and get straight into the mid flag. Try to throw the nade up into Cubby. Does it perfectly. Taylor hopped out long, able to get Mata, and then Till goes down to that Cubby nade from Milo. There is another car backing it up there. It's Kum Kum, and he is able to get Milo out of double windows. In the meantime, Over's gotten pushed to the one. What a flick shot by PDX. You can see he was looking at the flag and caught Sokka sneaking up to the right. Nick waiting for this elbow push. Here's one potentially in the loft. He's trying to find him. There it is. No scope. Misses, but the pistol is plenty. And now Nick going to try to push up to long steps. Yeah, Milo's ridiculous, man. Oh, nice shot by Mata there. Able to get Nick off long. Now Milo going to go for this double windows push. I mean, this is a nightmare. Like, even if you kill Milo, what's next? Taylor, PDX, Leo, Debo, Patton. It never ends with this team. It's just a, a never-ending choo-choo train of frags. PDX with two on the car. He's starting to streak again. Watch out. Milo's here watching blue. Where's PDX at? PDX is in blue, spamming away. Lots of bullets coming back the other way. Flick just misses. Still alive, and he is taking out a double nade there for Sokka. Able to get both Milo and PDX. <gasps> Uh-oh. Sokka, TK, plus a pistol kill there. And now Debo's pushed up into L Hall. Will they go for the well cap, or will they get capped on? Debo with the STG kill is traded back by On on the STG. So over, do stop the bleeding for the time being. Oh, nice nade from PDX to get Sokka out of lower red, too, in the process, though. Kum Kum now trying to protect this well cap as Over's got it. Two kills go each direction. Ooh, Kum Kum saw one underpass there, and it's Taylor. No, it wasn't Taylor. It was Leo. I thought it was a bar that killed him there, but no, I think Leo got him from red. And now NSA going to get back on that well. Taylor dumps a dead nade in blue. Pretends like he's going for it. Might have baited a guy in there, but no. Not a good kill. Oh, Sokka with the running car. Next up is PDX. PDX, pre-fire away with the pistol. Nice shot for Sokka there again. Sokka gets out as well. Leo's got to reload this Garan. Caffrey's able to get the frag, but now Milo's next up on this train. And he's there for the break, potentially. He drops into blue. And, oh, no, he is able to get the break. It looked like they had enough time to get the cap, but no... 
Milo, Johnny on the spot once again. Patton broke long with two of his own as well. Milo with a third. Milo looking for more. The car shot looked good, but not going to land. Debo now spamming away. Garan kill there on Mata. Debo looking for more. He's got two. Ready for the third, but Saka's date will get him before he can get a shot off. Nick Patton goes down to Till as well. And over, trying to just thin out these numbers and then maybe get on well. Starting to get a little cold now. I do agree Milo should be given his own division at this point. He's too damn good. Oh, nice double kill there for Taylor on the Taylor on the bar. Oh, Taylor's got a third. Taylor pushed out blue. He's gonna get the cap. There it is. NSA again. Another full cap. Milo up to 26 and 14, leading the whole server. Till at 20 is next up. And everybody else in a cluster there between like 15, 17 in that range. 18 on Saka. The frags be fragging. Just frag, 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 and all over the place. Oh, I thought Taylor had another double kill there, but no. Mata, who was then TK'd by Sokka from underpass. And then a suicide nade by Kum Kum. And an aid kill for PDX. When it rains, it pours on this map. And now they got Leo up in blue. And he's going for a knife kill. And you know, you know Leo will commit to this. He will not pull out the gun and shoot. They're spamming the doors, but it's not the right spam. They don't know what's coming right now. He gets one go by. He's chasing it down. He's chasing it down. Oh, my God. The bait and switch. Sokka caught Leo chasing down that knife kill and was able to get him in the back with the car. Mata spamming that big window now, looking for a wall shot with the Stas. Oh, man. You love to see it. DoD is a funny game sometimes, is it not? Mata looking for the nade kill up in uh, swing. Till is immediately traded by Pat. And now Sokka's got to shovel out. Uh, that nade almost got to Nick, but no, he's able to dodge it. I mean, just a lot of kills going off at this Axis first flag right now. PDX is on the cap. Taylor's here to watch the spawn push out to the one. And they are not able to get on the flag in time. And once again, another cap for NSA. Yeah, he definitely wanted to get, the, get that knife kill back. He was close. Till was too fast. He, he had a good sprint timing there. No knife kill to be had. And now, just a formality as this game has gotten a bit out of hand on the scoreboard. Let's see, Let's see who's going to frag what here. Nick Patton looking for some flick shots. Over. Maybe going to be able to hop on well. They do get mid. Oh, and Milo is there for another double kill. Nick going for no scopes there at long. It looked like it was on him, but in this game, there's a lot of spread on those no-scopes. Oh, what a flick by Nick as well. Slick Flick Nick. That should be one of his the many nicknames that I've given him. Most of them involve rhyming with Nick. What can I say? Oh, Milo got a hat trick as well. Not sure where that happened. Maybe on the well cap, maybe in blue. Taylor goes down to Caffrey there. Milo trying to prone out underpass is immediately taken out by Mata on the car. Ana is able to get Leo. Kum Kum goes down to the soccer grenade. Nice flick by Mata. PDX, though, with another nade kill. Debo coming out. El Hall. And he TKs PDX in the process as he grabs another cap out. I mean, you can, you can announce, you know, like, uh... I mean, realistically... It is a formality. We'll stay professional. Negging PDX, not you guys, says Debo. I don't know. I don't know. Leia with another 2K off the initial. Ha ha ha, gee. Come on, Milo. Now he's got himself a sniper rifle. I thought for sure he was about to shoot a teammate there accidentally. Leo's up at the one again. Leo looking to get a couple more. He's behind the box. He is taken out by Ana there. Kum Kum. Almost quick on the trigger there on his teammate. Patton's pushed up with a bar on long. I guess him and Milo traded for a second. Oh, Patton with a third. Hat trick for Nick and a fourth. Nick Patton going on a run there with the bar. He can do it all, my friends. He was a heavy back in the day on RWB. I'm not kidding. Mm, that That's a good one. I don't know what I put the over-under at for that. Right now, they're at 463. And everything I said about the map not playing Allied Side at all that often, obviously uh, in the dumper there. As this is a very Allied Sided Allied half. Taylor spamming away into blue. 
Three and a half minutes left. Mata does take out Ana there. Till able to get one back on Taylor. PDX looking for the wall spam on him. Oh, and there came Sokka with a shovel. Almost a second kill there for PDX. Leo does get two in the process. Swapping out to that car now. Teammate can throw an aid in blue. He avoids it. Nice shot for Leo again. Number three for him. Spamming the door now. Milo with a quick swap off the bar to the sniper gets two. Basically as quickly as you can get two kills. <laughs> Hashtag ban Milo. Oh, what a shot from Sokka there. They were doing some trick plays in underpass. Nick is able to get that bar kill. Or so Oh, what a flick shot. It was a sniper kill. Taylor chimes in with two more once again. Caffrey is able to trade it back before the cap out. Caffrey. PDX is there on the one, and there it is. He's got it. 566 to 30 so far. I mean, you could tell they were trying not to necessarily, like, go run it up or anything, but... Once it's teamed down, you know, that's what you gotta do. Alright, two and a half minutes left here. NSA are your first finalist. Obviously. Mathematically impossible at this point to get the number of caps necessary. I'm not sure how many it is, but it's a lot. NSA just kind of uh, playing it out now. Taylor gonna push up long, see if he can grab himself a multi-kill here. Sees one going up into blue, 23 health. Free firing in, he's got one, he's got two, almost a third. Sokka's able to get him with the pistol before any more, though. Caffrey ready for that peek from upper. <laughs> Caffrey looking for the next one up. Oh, and Milo on the off angle is able to get it. Kumkum is here, too, finds Milo going for that car. And he sees another one at swing. Kumkum, nice flick on a midair. Debo and a third. Nice 3k for Kumkum Kum there, pushing up her apps. Till is able to get Leo as well, and Sokka with one more. Kumkum Kum runs into a bar here. Taylor with the nade kill on him. Taylor with another one as well on Ana. Till looking for the shovel kill. Mod is able to get Milo. Who's going to get this shovel? Who's it going to be? Taylor jumped out long. I don't think it's going to be him. Oh, they're going for the knife kill. Taylor gets that one. Now Till's got to try to return the favor, but a nade drops at his lap from Nick. Nick's nade, just a heat-seeking missile there in upper uh, blue. Kumkum Kum is able to get one. They're going to do a boost here. Debo's boosted up underpass. Debo does find one and a two. They're all over the place here at the one. Mod is able to get Nick. Looking for more. Caffrey and Milo trade back. Who's alive? PDX is, and Milo, okay. PDX is going to go up on top of the boxes, I like that, Milo's going to stay here. Crossfire, you get caught up in the crossfire. Oh, I didn't think that they would possibly get no kills there. Till gets two right back. And a third for Till. Till swapping over to the sniper rifle and immediately having an impact with it. Double nade for Taylor, and a third. Oh my god, he almost walked into that dead nade. He almost walked into that dead nade. Classic. Till gonna be able to get this break, I think. Oh my god, there's so many there. Last thing he expected to see there was, like, basically the entire team. Milo able to get two on that cap. They're pushing out blue now. More coming. Mata with the TK nade, and there it is. Game over. A big win for NSA as they move on to the finals. Whew. I mean, that was just... Uh, NSA, obviously, everyone knows... They are the best team in the game, and when they get going like that, where everyone's hitting their shots, I mean, no one can beat that. No one can beat that. It's scary as fuck. Okay, so that was 583 to 32. I'm going to update the score, and then I'm going to go take a nap, because I am so tired right now. Uh, wait, what was it? 583 to 32. Okay, so... 157, and then, oy vey. Okay, 583, 7, 61, 841. I just did that math real fast, so. 583, 
and 258. 758 plus 83, 761 plus 80, 841. Oh, I got it right. Okay. Whew. All right. So NSA is your first finalist. I mean, obviously, they are the best team in the game. You know, it's one of those things. Who's going to beat these guys? Uh, obviously, I think Icy Hot has the best chance. We play Icy Hot later on tonight to decide who will be going on to play NSA in the finals, of course. Um, big, big win there for NSA. The way that finished off, they looked primed for another championship win this season. Um, thank you guys for watching. I badly need to go take a nap right now before I play at least two DOD matches tonight. So, whew. Uh, it was fun to watch, you know, even with the score in the end, like it seemed like everybody was trying to have a good time. So that's always good at least. But yeah, big W for NSA. They move on and await the winner of Icy Out versus Thunder in the later on game tonight. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys for being here. and. Ooh, is there a cast going on right now? I don't remember. I don't think so. I don't believe so. I'll see if there's anybody I can raid. Yeah, big w for oh my god, that's me. Shut up, Corey. Jesus. Day of defeat, anything? Mm, no, no DoD players playing. Alright, so I don't have anyone to raid. That's okay. No worries. I will call it here. Oh, thank you so much, Anna. Of course I remember you, Anna. Of course. I know. I, I we, we played with and against each other all the time back then. I even had a movie with you and uh, Tom, uh, Tom, as in that Zero. Because, like, I played with, uh, with Zero and the first team I was ever on. Um, R.I.P. to him, too. Uh, both Ryan and I played with him in SAS back in the day, so... You know, we, we kept in touch with him over the years. Obviously, it's really sad what happened to him, too. So, But, you know, good to see everybody at least having fun. And uh, I will be back later once I've slept, uh, hopefully, at least a couple of hours. Ugh, I'm so drained right now. But I wanted to make sure to cast this thing, right? So sad. I could not believe that. I mean, just awful. He He was younger than me, too. And at the time, I mean, it was like... 10 years ago now. Yeah, awful. Really, really awful. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Sorry I'm, I'm rushing off, but man, do I have to pee so bad right now. Thank you. Mwah. Take care, guys. Watch Alapex later. He will be casting at least our matches. I'm not sure what else is going on. I won't get to cast any more today because I got to play, which is unfortunate for me. But take care, guys. Have a good night.